Hey guys! Hello again. Um, I'm back today to do a review on the um, one of the new Shea Moisture products that was released not that long ago. And we're going to be talking about their co-wash, the Coconut and Hibiscus Co-wash Conditioning Cleanser. It's a lot of C's in that. Nice use of alliteration, Shea Moisture. Um, but it says it has silk protein and neem oil. And it's supposed to be good for um, color treated hair and it is sulfate free, which is awesome because that's primarily what I use to cleanse my hair. Sulfate free conditioners. I mean, not conditioners, cleansers. Um, most of the time I do, speaking of which, use a sulfate free shampoo that usually has like cocoa betaine or um, some other non sulfate derived cleansing agent. So I don't really co wash that much anymore. I usually use like a shampoo shampoo um, that happens to be sulfate free. But um, I wanted to give this a go because the ingredients are really, really good and there are a still um, a handful of cleansing conditioners that I use such as the Daily Fix by Curl Junkie and the Diva Curl No Poo by Diva Curl and um, I wanted to see if this one would be a contender with those. Um, I believe this is $10.99 from Target. Um, $10.99 or $11.99. No, I think it's $10.99. So $11 from Target and um, it's 8 ounces. And um, it says that basically it's a detergent-free conditioner, um, conditioning cleanser that removes impurities without stripping the hair of natural oils. It's lightweight, moisturizes, soften, and control frizz in one easy step, and it leaves your curls vi vibrantly bouncy. Um, you're supposed to like massage it in for three to five minutes, working from the roots to the ends, and um, rinse thoroughly with water. So. How do I use this? I um, use it just like I do any other shampoo. Like I've mentioned, I do everything in sections. I divide my hair into maybe um, four sections on each side. And starting from the back, I apply my cleanser. Like I work it at the roots. And I'll add a little bit to my hand. And I'll smooth it down the lengths of my hair. Because I do generally, when I'm doing a protective style, which is about 90% of the time, um, I only wash my hair twice a month. So every two weeks. So I want to make sure that I get my hair nice and clean um, since I'm doing it every two weeks. And I'll add some product to my the lengths of my hair since I use like kind of heavy butters and um, heavier products. My hair likes that. So I want to make sure that I get my hair nice and clean. And um, I work my way to the front with the cleanser, let it sit for a few minutes while I'm working on another side. Let that sit for a few minutes while I'm rinsing that side. So um, I leave my cleanser on for about 10 minutes or so, kind of like, you know, let it kind of marinate and sit in my hair and remove the impurities. So um, even though I do follow a modified version of the Curly Girl method, like I don't use silicones, I don't use... Um, I don't use heavy waxes and things like that, and I don't use sulfates, um, but I do use kind of heavy products with those butters, so I want to make sure that my hair is clean. So, with this product, I found that um, it spreads really, really well. The consistency is really nice. Let me show you guys. It's actually a pretty thick cleansing conditioner. It's kind of hard to get out of here. Um, it's more so, the texture is more so like a um, lightweight conditioner. It's heavier than like a VO5 then um, the spreadability is not the same as like um, Diva Curl No Poo that like just like spreads all over your scalp um, really really easily and distributes well. So it distributes but more like a conditioner if that makes sense. So let me show you guys what it looks like. See it's really creamy. It's not even moving on my hand. Really really creamy. The texture is really nice. Oh it smells so good. <sighs> okay, it smells so good. I really enjoy all of the um, the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus line. I like that scent a lot. It's that tropical, pineapple-y, coconut-y type of situation. Um, I definitely pick up on the coconut, and it's not like an artificial coconut. It smells just really sweet and um, juicy. It's really nice. So let me put this back in the bottle because I only have one more use out of that pro out of this product so I want to get every last drop back up in there and see even when I'm like it really it just like goes right into my skin like a lotion almost like it really is more so like a conditioner um like a regular like rinse out type of situation so I'm gonna post the ingredients at the bottom of the video because I don't think that um anywhere has the ingredients um 
like listed. Like I don't think Target has them on their website yet. And I don't think Walgreens carries any of the new Shea Moisture products yet either. So um, I'll post uh, like in the description box the ingredients. But um, just to give you an idea, it has deionized water, coconut oil. So it does have a lot of coconut oil in all of the new products. So um, Tasty Red Bone, she showed like all of her cool Shea Moisture goodies that she got recently. And she mentioned that it's very coconut oil heavy. And I, yeah, definitely coconut oil heavy. So if your hair is not a fan of coconut oil, I don't know how much you would like these new um, products because coconut oil can sometimes have the same effect on some people's hair as being um, protein sensitive because coconut oil does penetrate the hair shaft um, like a protein. I think it might be a protein. But um, so yeah, that's just something to watch out for if you know that your hair doesn't love coconut oil. But um, the third ingredient is shea butter and then mango seed butter, subtle esters, kaolin clay. Kaolin clay is one of them. Um, the clays that helps to remove impurities from your hair and help to clean your scalp. So that's the cleansing agent that is in this. Um, and I think that is the only one. The rest of it is um, grapeseed oil, jojoba oil, um, benchimonial chloride, hibiscus extract, willow bark extract, neem seed oil, sorbitol esters, um, let me see, aloe vera leaf juice vitamin e african black soap extract okay Af african black soap extract is also a cleanser so um that's in there as well to help cleanse your hair of impurities sea salt and rosemary extract and capril glycol whoa okay so those are all the ingredients um it seems to have mostly like butters and oils and then those two cleansing agents the kale and clay and the African black soap extract as well as benchimonium chloride, which is a conditioner. So that's where you're getting your, you know, keep your hair moisturizing, not stripping your hair um, situation, which is pretty cool. So, um, positives. This leaves my hair incredibly soft. After I rinse my hair with this cleanser, it still feels like I have it in there. It's very, very soft. It already feels conditioned. Um, also, you guys heard all those amazing ingredients. They help to start the detangling process for me, which is amazing. I'm applying it to my hair, and as I'm, you know, finger detangling a little bit, my hands are, my fingers are kind of sliding through my hair, which is amazing. Um, it's helping me feel like I'm really helping to remove some of that butter and dirt and, like, build up and everything from my hair. So that's a really, really good thing. And the smell. The smell is awesome. Um, so, yeah, those are pretty much my positives now as far as negatives go um this is eight ounces and um i had to use tons of this product on my hair um i would add like um like a silver dollar sized amount like maybe that much like a palm full amount to my hair to each section and that wouldn't feel like it was doing anything um, my hair just felt like it would soak it right up like I wouldn't even feel product at my roots anymore hardly So I'd have to just add more and more and more so I actually could feel the product and start to massage it in my scalp um, So I had to use a ton of product. I would say the first time that I used the product I used maybe Almost half of it. So I used about this much and the second time I used down to about here so I don't even know if this is going to be enough for a full use. This might be for a couple of sections. So um, on average, I'd be getting about two and a half uses from that. So that's not a really economical situation for me. Um, I do like the way it makes my hair feel, but it's marketed as a cleanser. And for me personally, it doesn't really clean my hair. Um, like I said, I do use heavy butters, but um, I've used other products, other co-washing conditioners that don't have specific cleansing agents in them that are really heavy or really stripping that still get the butter out of my hair um, after I rinse my hair with this I would see little beads of water there and that doesn't usually happen to me it almost felt like it didn't really clean it at all it left it feeling very conditioned and moisturized but my hair didn't feel really clean and I could actually see some buildup on my scalp still so um, that wasn't too great and I rinsed this really, really well because it does have kale and clay in it. And I didn't want to leave that in my hair. Even though my hair felt very soft and it was tempting, I didn't want to leave it in my hair. So um, I didn't like the fact that I had to use a ton of product for me to even feel like I had product in my hair. Um, I didn't like the fact that it didn't really leave it feeling super clean. And um, 
that's pretty much it. Those are the two negatives, but they're kind of big negatives. You know, it's marketed as a cleanser, but for me, it didn't really clean. And I had to use so much of the product that at, you know, $11 a bottle, um, it just didn't really work for me the way that I intended. So I probably will not be repurchasing this. Um, yeah, I probably will not be repurchasing this. I just tend to um, have better luck with cleansers that are a little little stronger than this not by much but a little stronger than this to actually make it feel like I'm removing the dirt and build up and everything from my hair um, when I'm using it so I like the fact that this leaves this actually is a really good conditioner I think um it left my hair so soft that I think I might have better luck with this as a deep conditioner but I have such little bit left that I don't really think I have the opportunity to try it that way but um, I think that for people who um I know Miss Candy Me, she really, really likes this co-wash a lot. She has really, really good results with it. Like, she's in love with it. Um, it works really, really well for her. Um, and let me think. I just think it will make a really good conditioner for me. Um, but I'm not going to have enough of it to try it out that way. So that's my review on the Coconut Business Co-wash. Um, I really had high hopes for it, but it didn't really leave my hair feeling really clean. And this bottle is just, I would go through this like water, literally. So I will not be repurchasing this again. Um, so, yep, yeah, that's what I think about that one. I hope everybody's doing awesome. And um, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. All right, bye.